pleasant morning to everyone wherever you are. My name is Joseph Alexander Room, the owner of Room Museum. It is situated in a, a little village in Tilleries known as Waka, St. Andrews. I'm the owner, manager of this museum. It was in 2007, that just before World Cup. But since 2004, I've been doing collection. Now, some of the collection comprise of things that the British left before, as we had the British settlement in Grenada before, the French, the Carib, and the Arabs, and other nations. And what is very interesting is about the life we used to live before, we have some of this stuff on a daily basis, what people used to use, like the kitchen, the different kitchen, different um, latrine, which you call it, yeah, the toilet, you may see, and such stuff like that. Even the museum comprises of different things. We have things like medication, sport, education, and belief, right? I think like superstitious beliefs like Luga and uh, spirit, Luga, Royal, kind of thing like that. That's a good question. I'm a person, uh, a culture. I like old traditional way of life. Uh, yeah. And as a means of memory to know how far we came from. So it was an evening. I was, I went to the shop, a shop nearby me. And then there was a mom who had a daughter in a, a school. And it, she, she was speaking that the, the headmistress told them that any old time thing they have, they could bring it in. So I invited myself. I didn't have any student in that school. So afterwards, I tell her, okay. She told me, well, I could call the school and find out if ever I can bring them. I did so the next day. And then the teacher told me, yes, I could do that despite I didn't have any student in the school. So when I brought it in, there was a lot of people was there. And then, uh, yeah, and from then, they are getting invitation from one school to the next, from one to the next, take part in Rainbow City National Culture. And then from there, I just keep on exhibiting right through and the place getting popular. And then after, there was a teacher said, if I have a, a place, you know, as a museum, like to store them thing, and then I keep on, keep on with the termination. During Ivan, after Ivan passed, 
there was a, a few buildings that were destroyed. So I inquired from the owner of it. If it is possible, I can get the remaining. Yes, they tell me, okay, no problem. And bit by bit, I keep on. And apart from having this infrastructure the first, then it's only here, all, all here. It was like a, like a forest, big stone and so on. I did the um, blasting for myself by getting a lot of dry wood. And when you light it, you pack it around the stone and a long piece of iron. And as fast as it's burning, the water going to the iron and it's falling on the stone and the stone start cracking. So after it crack, the next day when it's cold, I get a cold chisel and a heavy hammer. And then it's just hard work. Yeah, right. Because take for instance, we have a coffin where people used to go by night time and steal people cocoa. The coffin is to keep the public away. Because once people hear about dead, anything associated with dead, they keep away. Right. Now we also have things like um old machine, sewing machine, uh different stove. And so on. Some of, some of the things that the people um, used before, like you talk about the, um, the local thing like the cane squeezer, which I have outside here, eh? the grinding stone, and all those things. That if I shop in the cutlass, we had no electricity at the time, so it was manual, yeah, manpower. Mm -hmm. No, not bread alone. Any early baking was done in the mud oven. Now the mud oven is made from mud, stone, grass, this, the feces of the cattle, plus iron and water. That that will take uh, maybe say about a week and something. If you keep on steady working, it might be less. It depends. Oh yeah, the kerosene pump. Yeah, this kerosene pump uh, was placed in shops, local shops. And when you place in local shop, people would come and purchase any amount. They had a bottle. If they want a pint, they could get it. If they want a quarter gallon, they could get it. No. In the early years, some of the work that was very interesting at the time is like the estate work, where we had a great amount of people employed, and also the road workers. Yeah, and um, we had a few people in the education system, but not as today. That's concerning about that, telling you why I like it like. I'm a sculptor, carving. So carving comprises of old, old time days, you know, like in the early days when you have men couldn't read and write. But the way of passing down, passing messages by carving, just like you had the Caribbean, the Arabs stuff, so you have the African. They had a carving and they know the translation. I'm hoping to have a good infrastructure and after that, yeah, as you said, that we have to um, do that right up, you know, the date, the average date, uh, when this was in existence and who who was the, the, the company or who was the maker of certain things. There's a lot of information on that. Yeah, well, I would like to know if anybody have any old tempting or whatever help they see for uplifting the museum in terms of the infrastructure. And then what I would like to know, we bring in visitors on a regular basis.
And there was there's other things to be done. Which something I myself don't even remember right now. And there's other people could see what to be done. As stages goes on, we'll see what to be done. And then as I said, the visitors, local foreign, diaspora, whatever the case may be.